especially with the scale that Alvesens work with, maybe five years ago, AI wasn't as pervasive. It is today. What were some things from retail's angle that seemed too futuristic, maybe before the pandemic? And now this seems like, you know, it is, of course, it's everywhere. It's like second nature to everybody. So I would think about this as, right, like pre-pandemic for grocery, shopping in online seemed like alien concept for most people, right? Because people were used to going, touching, feeling, picking up their groceries. I think COVID changed all of that. I think AI is the step change that has happened during COVID, which is going to be, especially the Gen AI piece, as well as the LLM pieces that have come Thanks to Gen AI to some extent, people got exposure with Gen AI. NLP probably has existed before too, but I think they've become very popular. So that's where the search conversation is picking up because instead of the traditional keyword search, now we are going to conversations with the customer. That makes sense. So in the least in five years, maybe Maria, you could answer this. You know, like a lot of people got exposed to Gen AI for good or for worse. Some got excited, oh, what all can I do with it? And some like, oh man. My job's in danger. Now, instead of 10 of my teammates, they just need two. Uh, and it, it's happening all across the board, right? Like it's designers, creators, engineers. You know, I want to ask these questions to you that, um, you know, in last five years, what other jobs have you seen being created by AI? And especially when it comes to advent of AI and maybe specific examples in retail. I think it's not just in retail. It's everywhere, really. But there's the whole like new there's some jobs that are being elevated of sorts, so it might be the same role, but what you do might be a bit different. And so that's part of like a lot of the tasks might be automated by retail. So the job still exists, the role still exists, but it would be elevated and it would be like the nature of it might change. So that's one piece. And they're moving specifically in retail, I'd say a lot of the more of like maybe data entry or task level ones mm -hmm. become more of supervisory ones so and more analytical ones rather than simpler task driven ones and then across all industries you just have especially in tech you just have whether it's retail tech or not you just have you start having things like the forward engineers you have especially for the companies that build a lot of their own solutions a lot of their technology there's like a whole slew of different ai driven jobs that are starting to come up that weren't there before so we've talked about a lot about the uh, types of things we now do with AI, well, somebody needs to engineer it, right? And so these are the ones that you would say five years ago, those didn't exist as, as a specialized area. Makes sense. Multiple tech industries and um, Hima, you know, potentially because of Google Cloud working with various industries, you showed some impact in metrics. You must have worked with some industries and various, you know, kind of companies. Tell us some industry that I've seen the fastest adoption and why is that? Yeah. Um, I think very, very interesting. Where we are in the interesting time as well. I think it's specifically the massive data, right? I think that is something, uh, you know, all the industries are really seeing how do we really use the data to be able to really deliver some of the value. And um, I really want to talk about few of the industries probably. Uh, one is in terms of AI, you know, the technology as an industry, which is like Google Cloud, um, you know, Azure, um, you know, Amazon. Um, as well as you can see Netflix, I think a lot of us are using these AI in terms of, you know, driving the efficiency, summarization of the details that we are really looking forward, right? Uh, second, I think I also see the retailers, specifically in terms of the e-commerce. We have a very great example in terms of what Albertsons have already been doing in terms of personalization in the way that they have been driving. The second industry I really see where from our customer, you know, who are adopting the AI is the fintech industry as well. So fintech, as you see, there's uh, the use cases like fraud detection, risk scoring, right? Um, I think we really see them, a lot of them using that. And uh, the third key is the healthcare. I think you'll see that as well. Healthcare industry, there's been a lot of things in terms of the drug analysis, discovery, um, and specifically in terms of uh, patient experience. How do we actually give them the end-to-end -end patient experience? So, and last but not the least, manufacturing. I see it in this way. So technology, retail, then we have fintech, then we have healthcare and manufacturing in terms of the predictive maintenance, robotics and automation. So 
those are some of the things where you know the our industry customers are really looking forward in terms of implementing the AI. You know, the other thing to add to this is what I start noticing that I find fascinating is the crossovers between the industries, right? So you mentioned banking and like fraud, but then in retail, fraud's also very important. Or you might have uh, forecasting again in, ba in banking and then whether it's manufacturing, whether that's retail, forecasting, demand planning, it's the same types of so you start seeing certain like attributes and then you cross over from one industry to another mm -hmm. and can carry essentially the same AI principles just to different industries and innovate there. I think even incidentally, Alveson seems to cut across all of these industries very nicely. Yeah. Maybe I want to continue that conversation, Rama. Looks like Albertsons has a lot of data because there's a lot of customers here. There's a lot of, you have 1700 pharmacies, so there's a lot of healthcare sensitive data from that angle. Considering that, you know, multiple use site, we have a very high bar on, uh, you know, privacy and data protection. I would like to learn more about, you know, um, some ethical concerns that any industry, cutting on any, you know, leader from this industry should take care of. What have been the biggest challenges across these industries that have been sprouting up and how do we manage those? Somebody said that retail is not very heavily regulated, which is true. Compared to fintech, uh, the regulation is not there from the government side, but to some extent it is more on our internal and our responsibility for our customers. So the way we think about it is like you have highest is PHI, which is your health information, PCI, which is your credit card information, next PII, which is your personal information. I would say it's like these three, we put it into a very... PHI, we secure it the most and it goes on and on from that point onwards. That is one component of it. The second component of it is like, I would say is like what worries us the most is like the tools that we are using. Nefarious actors can also use the same tools. So this is like a constant uh, evolution, I would say. You no company can ever say that we are secure and we have arrived. This is something that we are constantly evolving. So I think I just wanted to also add in terms of the apart from the privacy uh, one is also i've seen i think one of the thing as part of the ai taboo we spoke about is bias bias right? i think you know historically i think we have collected a lot of the data and that data probably can give uh, you know unknown bias in terms of how we are uh, leading so that is one thing i see as way that we need to really look forward to address that how do we address the bias and uh, i'm sure we'll be addressing it over a period of time but that is something which we'll have to be cautious about. That's where we need intervention. While there can be recommendations coming in from the AI, because it's taking the historical data and there are some biases as part of the historical data. How do we also look at, you know, addressing that with human intervention as to have the deliver the outcomes.